Some 35 miles of boom has been laid to protect the outlying marshlands, a thin barrier to a potential disaster. We're about 12 miles off the Gulf Coast, and much of the water around here is shallow, in some cases only five feet deep. That, along with the fact that this region experiences very passive tides, means that any oil that should get beyond that protective boom barrier may be here to stay. That poses a deadly threat to birds, brown pelicans, laughing gulls, and the least tern. They once numbered 12,000 on the Mississippi coast. There are now only 2,000. It has the great potential for wiping out the entire uh, population of least terns along that coast area. It only takes about 20 days for the eggs of the least tern to hatch, then another 20 days for the chicks to actually leave the nest, which means right now is the most critical period in the life cycle of these birds when they're most vulnerable. Here's what oil does to a bird. It causes feathers to mat and separate, making the birds more vulnerable to hypothermia and less waterproof and buoyant. When they preen their feathers, they swallow the oil, causing internal organ damage and eventually death. The quickness with which we get to them and de-oil them and treat them um, will depend on whether they recover or not. But for today, in these marshes, there was no trace of the poisonous slick that may be headed their way. Jeff Corwin, CBS News, Biloxi, Mississippi.